lot of times we're seeing a contracture. The contracture is going to be an adaptive shortening. So the IT band is found on the lateral side of the thigh. It's going to kind of wrap around the lateral side of our vastus lateralis. So the vastus lateralis we know is going to originate on the posterior aspect of the femur wrapping around. If I have any kind of excessive amount of tension in vastus lateralis, it'll put an outward pressure against the IT band. The IT band's tight, we'll put a compressive pressure back against vastus lateralis. So I definitely want to put my vastus lateralis, in, you okay with that? I want to put my vastus lateralis into the mix of the treatment that I'm going to do. We also know that 70% of glute max fibers are going to attach to the IT band. We also know that TFL on the anterior lateral side is going to also make up the superior portion of the IT band. And therefore I also want to deal with TFL. If I leave that out of the mix, it's probably not the best thing. It's not going to be nearly as effective. We also know the IT band is not muscular tissue, it's fascial band, and therefore it doesn't have contractile qualities to it, all right? So physically, what makes it short is, is the attachment site at Gertie's tubercle closer to the attachment site of glute max and TFL. And that approximates or becomes closer when the knee is flexed. So typically with an IT band contraction, you're seeing someone that's in a constant knee flex type of position. <clears throat> so if I want to put maximum tension into the IT band, I know I want to place the knee into an extended position, hence your Ober's test, that extended position. And if you want to um, separate your TFL from your IT band, you flex the knee for Ober's and that way it gives you information on TFL instead. We also have an IT band friction syndrome that we can deal with. The distal part of the IT band, as it crosses over the lateral epicondyle, it chafes and rubs every time we go through this flexion and extension movement. And that chafing or rubbing causes that irritation and inflammation, and therefore we get that pain and discomfort on the superior lateral side of the knee. But in terms of dealing with the tissue, you okay? Yeah. It would be the exact same setup. All right.